Well, how does a family with one of the richest cultural heritages in America spend the holidays? Surrounded by lots of love, fellowship, and food, food, food. Sorry, Pat. Take a look. Alveda King is the niece of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and the daughter of Reverend A.D. King. Alveda's family carries on the holiday traditions of her grandparents, Reverend Martin Luther King Sr. and Alberta Williams. The Williams King family celebrates by singing around the piano, posing for caricature drawings of the family, and of course, eating food, food, and more food. And most importantly, it all centers around the gift of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Today, Alvita will share her family's delicious holiday recipes that bring laughter, love, and joy to their holiday table. Well, please welcome to our kitchen our dear friend, Dr. Elvita King. It's wonderful to have you with us. Hi, Terry, and hello, everybody. I Hi. Love your stories about how your family celebrates. When the when the King Williams family gets together to celebrate, how many generations are we talking about? We've been celebrating together for seven generations. Wow. And I can go back to the 1960s, and we would be at somebody's house and fellowshipping, singing, having holiday food and prayer. A lot of prayer. Well, I want to get to the prayer part, but let's talk about the tradition. You have an unusual tradition to me, and it's the caricature drawing. How did that start? Well, we met a caricature artist many, many years ago, and through our family celebrations now, Tony Smith, he's award-winning, but he will come to our celebrations and do family caricatures. How fun. Mm -hmm. That's, that is wonderful. And you mentioned prayer, and you know, when I think of your family, I think of a family of prayer, and prayer has really sustained you through some difficult things over the years. What's prayer like for your family at the holiday? Absolutely. The family who prays together stays together. Amen. And even when there are differences, you can't be angry with anybody yeah. real long if you pray with them. It's <laughs> impossible. So we found that out, and we pray together, and we love each other. A big part of the holiday for a lot of families is sharing a wonderful meal. Yes. And you're going to share with us something amazing today. I mean, I wish you could stand here with me and just smell this. We have a completed one here, but this is, a, I want to mention the name of it. It's Bugs and Jen's Holiday Spiral Flambe Ham. Now, where did that come from? Well, the flambe <laughs> came when they told me they were using a blowtorch. And I'm saying, really? Really? <laughs> so we, the holiday festive ham with the soup ingredients, the cloves and the spices and the turmeric and the sugars and mm. all of that. But then we add to it the flambe with the blowtorch and yeah. it's a lot of fun. So here it is, the, the ham's been cooked and then you press the the outside it's of it. It's a rub, it's a spicy rub, it's sweet and spicy together. It even has a little dash, and don't worry about a dash or a pinch, that just means to taste. Yeah. <laughs> and it has a tiny pinch of cayenne, pe cayenne pepper Ooh. in it as well. And so once we put all of those together, the nutmeg, the cinnamon, and then, let's see now, this is a little different Stand from back. my torch at home. Watch your eyebrows, <laughs> watch your eyebrows. Okay. Okay, let's click That's it one more time. Oh, I hear it. I hear, there there it go. is. Okay. Now, this is the thing, though. You want to do circular motions because as you do it in circular motions, You're and you've already the pressed sugars. this, rub the that, sugars yeah. and all the spices and the rubs, you see it begin to melt? Yes. And it'll melt down into the pan. And you really want to cover uh, your pan with foil and your countertop because okay. this, you know, it turns into toffee. Yes. And so if you leave it long enough, you'll have some toffee. It'll taste a little bit like ham, but Ooh. it's still toffee-ish. Oops, see, I stayed there too long. So you have to move. You keep move, it, keep circling. circular motions. But you can kind of see when it gets that caramelized point, can't you? It begins you? to do that. Mm -hmm. Now you see it's flaming there just a touch. Well, Beautiful. I, I said, you know, I asked the makeup folks, I said, if I burn my eyebrows off, would you come <laughs> yeah. and put some hey, more on? Hey, they're great at that. Okay, can yeah. I just tell <laughs> yeah. They do but mine there you go. Morning. See right there, and if you look in there, it's beginning. Yes, and, it's, and, it's shiny. Oh, you smell like that? You smell it? Oh, I boy. do. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. So you so do you that. It takes about 20 minutes, and once you get that done, and this is over the finished cooked ham. Yeah. So let me show you what it looks like when oh, it's okay. really done. Okay. Look at this. This is gorgeous. And I got a little piece here that I can. You see the clothes in there? You stick your clothes oh, in. Oh my goodness okay. sake. Okay, okay. And, and really the great thing about it, the next morning with your scrambled eggs or whatever, have ham. The next day have a ham sandwich. Oh, and so it takes word, you through the whole Elvita. holiday. Yeah. I'm coming to your house, girl. Come right on <laughs> over, come on. Wow, this is, so now you've got a beautiful ham. Of course, this is presented beautifully as well. 
What else do you eat with this? Well, any salad that you like. And sometimes we have people who are sensitive to tomatoes, so we use the strawberries, and you uh. can see them there, and your nuts and your cheeses, and your vinaigrette. And it's very easy. You can get your olive oil, your lemon, and your seasonings of your choice, mm -hmm. Italian or whatever, and then you just drizzle that over there. And then, isn't it pretty? You see oh, the colors, beautiful. the colors of that. And, and then the gluten-free stuffing. Huh. Because some people don't like gluten, so make your gluten-free cornbread. And then oh, you yeah. add your sage, your cranberries. We put the cranberries in there, fresh rosemary off of my deck because we grow all the herbs, and so of you've got the gluten-free cornbread. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> when I have time. <laughs> yeah. So, and uh, a favorite that smells good in the house. Mm -hmm. Garlicky green beans. Ooh. But it's the garlic that does it. You get your oil hot, you saute those, and then you use fresh garlic in there. And then a Himalayan pink sea salt in there. Mm -hmm. And it just makes a delightful dish. You know what you're doing, I can tell. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. And, and then it's sister, also beautiful. Well, and the colors. You see the colors, red mm -hmm. and green. And then Sister Bennett, she's a preacher's wife, good friend of the family, and she taught me how to make sorrel. And it's hibiscus leaf. It comes out of Trinidad or uh, the, the, the Caribbean islands. Is it bitter? But it's not. Well, you, we add a little cane sugar, but not mm -hmm. much. And so what you do, some people say a little wine is good for the digestion. Mm -hmm. And some people say don't drink any wine. So we make the sorrel. It's the same color as wine. It's very festive and bubbly, and people enjoy it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. and, and you're continuing, again, the, yeah. all the festive colors of Christmas in that what you're it. doing that here. You know, I, I love, what I love about this season is family traditions. And you can see that there are many of them in the King Williams family. All the recipes that you see here, don't panic if you weren't able to write down everything that Elvita said quickly, because it's all available at CBN.com. And you can see more of the King Williams family traditions in their Home for the Holidays video. If you'd like to do that, just go to CBN.com for more information. Merry, Merry Christmas, Thank my you, friend. My Thank you. The Lord bless you. God bless you too.